In this video, we're going to be talking about Sears Mexico and why Sears Mexico is still has stores, a lot of them still open, and why it's more profitable than U.S. Sears locations as well as Canada. Sears Mexico was founded in 1947 in Mexico City by the Sears and Roebuck Company, which also owned the Sears Company in the U.S. and Canada. In 1947, excited guests, 110,000 guests, spent over $600,000 in just three days at the first Sears location, which would become a mall, with a Sears attached to it. The Sears was the first part of that mall at the time. They had struggled to stock the shelves, so they had to fly three airplanes in from a warehouse in Texas. In the first year that Sears did business in Mexico in 1947, they made $16 million in sales. But that would only be short-lived as Mexico went through a recession. And about a year after the store opened, which they bared... Some of the imported goods from the U.S. to come in, which was 90% of the goods. But they did bounce back up as they started to create local warehouses where it would be Mexican industries would start to sell their goods at Sears. Which are still intact today as most of the Sears items you find in a typical Sears in Mexico is actually different from what Sears here in the U.S. has or had. You won't find many brands like Craftsman at the Sears in Mexico or anything like that. You will find more local brands, which is pretty good. Sears to Mexico is different from the Sears U.S. because they actually care about their employees. They give them medical insurance, paid vacation off, free food in the cafeteria, as well as many other benefits. By 1956, there was 17 stores in the Sears Mexico chain, which made about $56 million. Every product that was in the Sears stores in Mexico were made in Mexico. In April of 1997, Sears Mexico agreed to sell 50%, 56% of his company to Grupo Corso, which would own basically all of the Sears chain in Mexico. In 2010, Sears Mexico changed its logo to Red Variant, which is different from the U.S., where Sears in the U.S. didn't really change their logo, Sears in Mexico did with a new variant, which was a red Sears logo. What makes Sears in Mexico more profitable is that they're no longer part of the Sears Holdings Company, which actually is not really called Sears Holdings Company when they... Uh, when they... Uh, when they split from the, the chain, it was actually at the time called Sears and Roebuck Company. But now it's called Sears Holdings Company because they're part of the Kmart chain as well. But at the time that they split from the company, they were not part of that company. But the reason why they're doing so much better than the U.S. Sears is because they don't, they're not owned by the same company. Which probably this is going to be... The only Sears in the world come two years from now, probably. Because I don't think Sears here in the U.S. is going to be having another holiday season. They might have one more holiday season. But that's what everybody's been saying for many years. But I don't think that they're going to... I think that they're going to pr probably close next year all their remaining locations. Including Kmart as well, unfortunately. But after that, I think the closest thing to Sears we're going to have 
here in this world is going to be the Sears of Mexico. But anyway, that's why Sears Mexico is more profitable than their U.S. Sears stores.